Okay, well, um, as usual, if anyone else wants to join, all you have to do is hit the puzzle command on screen here. As I said, you gotta save the image in the second link, and then go to the first link and you can join, no problem. Uh, looks like we just have Magnus. I know uh, Bowser Girl said that she would try to get in later. Uh, she has to take care of something first. But if anyone else wants to join, feel free to go ahead. And again, you can change your name from Anon to whatever. Through here, change your color, change your background, all the other stuff. And, um, yeah, let's uh, get going. Welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Jigsaw Jumble. This is the fourth edition of this, so... Let's get to puzzling, guys. So I guess I guess the first thing. Oh, image just for reference. Uh, there. Reminded me of that. Odin. For those who are playing, you can check the click the preview button at the top to see it too. Um, but yeah, since uh, we're you know doing something based off of the direct and everything. Uh, what did you guys think of the Direct? Not necessarily the Echoes of Wisdom um, announcement, but... You know, just all the other stuff that came out. It, it was a pretty good Nintendo Direct, I gotta say. Like, I'm someone who, like, I try not to get, like, too hyped for, like, a Direct whenever it gets announced, because I, I feel like it's always, like, I feel like a lot of people just kind of jump into that pitfall where it's just like, oh, hey, a Direct, they're just going to announce everything. And then when they announce, like, even if just a fraction of what they, like, are expecting, it kind of, like, seems worse than it actually is so I just kind of like just like okay cool let's see what they got and then I don't really pay attention to any of like the updates or anything like the like oh th this could be showing up because of this reason like I, I don't know I just kind of try to go into it with no expectations and just kind of see how it goes and it's honestly been treating me very well for the last many directs honestly Direct Nintendo delivers what people really want in their games. Xbox and PlayStation 2 busy showing up graphics, not gameplay. I'm sure they had something, but like, I, I admittedly didn't watch any of that. Uh, I'm most excited for Super Mario Party Jamboree, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and Mario and Luigi Brothership. Wow, the three games I'm most excited for too, Bowser Girl. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pumped for all three of those. Those three were easily like the biggest, like, hype spots for me, like, easily. Because, like, I, I honestly wasn't expecting any, like, Mario and Luigi. Like, especially after, like... The... Like, RPG fans for Mario series have been eating very well, like... For a while now. After, like, all the... Stuff we've been getting... So, like, I wasn't expecting, oh, we're just going to see the return of Mario and Luigi as well. So, I'm excited for that. Echoes of Wisdom, I had no idea, was, like... I, I thought they were still taking a Zelda break after uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So, that was a huge surprise. 
And it's also going back to Zelda roots, or not, not really roots, but you know, back to 2D Zelda, which obviously I love because of Link to the Past, amongst others. So that's definitely pretty hype. Yo, Big Odie. Uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection was an incredible announcement. Huge for the FGC. And first time those are on Nintendo. That is pretty epic, though, honestly. Like, I'm not... I'm not really huge into those games, but I recognize that that's, like, a really, really solid announcement. Like, easily. Like, I, 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 I could tell you would be hyped for that, Odin. Just kind of, of what I know about, like, your tastes and everything. And, uh, Jamboree. Jamboree was definitely pretty big for me. Um, because I'm a huge fan of Super Mario Party. In fact, I think I actually love Super Mario Party more than Superstars. <laughs> and, like, I, I really hate that, like, Super Mario Party has gotten kind of a... Not really bad reputation, but kind of a misdirected reputation because of superstars and I honestly like really love a lot of the stuff that super actually introduced and I kind of like in kind of moving forward and trying new things I kind of want uh, Nintendo to use kind of a super Mario Party mentality because it just, I don't know, I think it's the best way to move moving forward, where it's still like the original games, but still has like so, something new to kind of, you know, build off of too, obviously. The Super Mario Party Redemption arc, yeah. Uh, you were big into Mario ver or Mario M Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when it came out. I'd be willing to get ready in the 2 as well. I've actually played 2 before. When I was in high school, um, me and some people from my class did like a video game tournament thing where we met up at someone's house and we just kind of like played games, different multiplayer games and stuff. And that was one of the games that was picked and... I thought it was pretty cool, but, like, I'm, I'm not huge into fighting games, so I obviously sucked. But it was cool, because, like, I was like, oh, sweet, I get to pick, like, Spider-Man and Mega Man? I'm gonna rock with these characters. Then I proceeded to get eliminated really, really quickly. I dabbed them, too, on the arcade a few times in high school, but never out, yeah. The, the version I played was the Dreamcast version. Maybe that is the only version, I don't know. But I, I do remember the theme song, though. The very catchy theme song. That plays non-stop on the menu. I'm gonna take you for a ride. I'm definitely most excited for Zelda. Pretty cool. It's on what appears to be the Link to the Past map. Yeah. I know that Mega's not really sold on that because, like, he doesn't like maps being, like, reused. He'd rather have it, like, its own specific identity, and I get that. But I, I think they'll do enough with it to make it feel unique and everything, you know? I, I don't think it's going to be that bad. No, I, I'm really excited too, man. I, I, I'm really excited. It looks really neat. I think Zelda having the playable role is really neat. Um, cause I and like I played a, I, I played a Link Between Worlds very late. I, I like I didn't play it until like after I started getting really into randomizer, like a Link to the Past randomizer. I was like, oh, maybe this is the time for me to finally play this game. And, like, I loved it. I loved The Link Between Worlds. It was a really fun game. 
and you know, it, it kind of has like a little bit of that style. I mean, it has obviously the Link's Awakening look to it uh, for the Switch. You really need to finish Prime 2 and 3. Yeah, I I, I can play Prime 2 because I actually do have it on GameCube. I haven't touched it at all, but now that I've beaten Prime 1, I could actually play Prime 2. I don't have a way to play Prime 3, though. Hey, Odin, how about giving me that trilogy collection? No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Wait, how do you change your name? Uh, you go to the gear icon at the top. You'll see change name and color. And then you can also customize some other stuff too if you need to. <laughs> I, know, I know you'd loan it to me, Odin, but yeah. Well, we'll, we'll talk later. If it's something I actually do want to, you know, get around to doing, then for sure. But I'm not really thinking about it right now. There's other other things that I want to kind of get going. You have Prime 2 on Cube and all three on Wii, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think of what to work on first. Um... I'm generally that guy who, like, I don't mind working on, like, the uniform pieces, so, like, the clouds and sky pieces. Like, I can start working on that. If people want to work on, like, the more natural colors. There's, like, so many different shades of blue in this one. <laughs> yeah, this may take a bit, but hey. I mean, we have a lot of people joining in today, though, so, I mean, that could... Definitely help. So yeah, we have Drift Looney, we have Willbot. Also, this Ocarina of Time music, which is. <laughs> Kind of a bitter sounding soundtrack for me right now after earlier this week on stream. I am still bitter about that, yes. It'll take a bit before I get over that. Yeah, Ocarina of Time, pretty good game, 7 out of 10, yeah. I don't hate the game, I just hate the randomizer right now. So, I mean, if I, were, if I were playing the vanilla game, like, I wouldn't have run into the issue that I ran into. So, I, I can't really hate the vanilla game for that. Okay, there. I'm finally finding some of these weird pieces. Also pieces. Okay, that's too light. As far as Prime Four, yeah. As far as Prime Four is concerned, I think after I play some of the um, other Prime games, I might be a little more excited about that. Because at this point, I've only beaten Prime One. And technically only played Prime 1, so... I obviously don't have a lot to say about Prime 4. It's cool that it's finally coming out. And I fully, fully expect it to be a Switch 2 launch game. Much like what Breath of the Wild was. I think that's like a... Probably a dumb thing to say, but Prime 4 Hella looks more like more Prime. Yeah. It does. Ringer, why are you throwing water on me, bro? Tell 
to make me throw water on you, I'll do it. Yo, edge piece. We in there, guys? I mean, we, we're we've gotten like a like about a hundred pieces put in already. That's like a sixth of the puzzle, so we're, we're doing pretty good. Also, Cyrix from Prime Hunters and then Prime Four, much to Johnny's dismay. I mean, when you have a game called Prime Hunters, like you, you obviously have to realize that they're going to try to segue with those characters in at some point. I mean, it's called frickin' Prime, you know? They, they, they had to have been building to that to some degree, you know? Okay, guys, how about worst Nintendo Direct announcement? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that, that will just bring up a lot of toxicity, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize Zelda's face was being worked on down here. I just now noticed that. <laughs> no rad gravity. That's a pretty... Yeah, obviously. No, I mean, okay, say what you want about DKC Returns. Like, I'm I'm not interested in it, but I'm not going to say that was the worst announcement. I would have preferred a new DKC game, but, like, it, DKC Returns is a great game. You know, it, it's a very solid game. I'm not going to give that game crap, but... I, honestly, let's be real. The worst announcement was Funko Pop Freakdown, or whatever the hell that game is called. Like that's that that was the worst game of the direct. As mid as the fairy tale game is, like <laughs> I don't know, fairy tale two is probably would generate more hype for me than Funko Pop or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the TKC returns on Switch is gonna be the definitive version, because it'll have you know, it'll be on better hardware it'll be it'll have the 3ds levels it, it's the superior version now it's just again for me i don't really want to buy it yet definitely could see it being one of those games that might reduce in price pretty quickly though i don't know maybe uh, I'm, I'm i'm hoping anyway I keep saying that, but it's just like, well, wait a minute. The Switch 1 is ending, so maybe they're not really focusing on prices and everything. When I think Slim Kirby, I think Funko Pop. Hey, yo, hey, Madam Moria, what's up? When I think of Madam Moria, I think of Nintendo Switch Sports. At least I do these days, because... You're literally is what's saving the series right now, Bobo. Next direct, like they're gonna they're gonna pop up and they're gonna be like, thanks to Madam Morio. Nintendo Switch Force has given new life to the game. So therefore, we are releasing 20 more sports to the game. <laughs> Honestly, the, the Golf Battle Royale looks... Legit. That looks very legit. I'm like, if I ever got get to play that game, that would be the game I would like be spending most of my time with.
Yo, guys, we almost have the sky done. Remember when that looked to be like the most intimidating part of this puzzle, and now it's like... Eh, whatever, it's just sky. Just a little bit of sky, that's all. Yo, silver stuff? Man, there's a lot... This is like the most people we've had during one of these. If, if we have regular turnout like this, I might have to increase the puzzle size to like 700 or something. <laughs> I would need to make sure, though, that we have, like, less going on, or more going on in the puzzle, so it's not, like, just a hundred pieces of blue sky or something. Big Bobo joined! Oh my god, everyone's joining in. You're a secret message to... <laughs> Odin. There's a pieces L somewhere in this on this link. <laughs> uh, hey, we'll pop to, 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 part of the L away. <laughs> oh, there, there's another L. <laughs> the pieces L. <laughs> guys like um enjoy these streams whenever i've done them i know that jigsaw puzzles aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea but i think it's just a great way to just kind of like relax chill and you know talk about stuff you know And I, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give a huge like thank you for this like idea, not just for finding the website, but um, for honestly kind of like suggesting and kind of pushing me in a good way, and not in like a you gotta do this way, but like uh, Bowser Girl was like a main reason for why I started doing this because she showed me this website and she was the one saying that like I've seen a lot of streamers do this and. You know, you have your pieces joke. This could be something you could actually do on your streams. And, you know, like, I, I'm definitely down for it, uh, doing more of this in the future. It's, it's definitely a very on-brand thing for me because of the whole pieces thing. Which I, I still wonder, like, I think Bowser Girl even, like, um, one thing I do recommend is have the puzzle picture to the stream announcements and make it easier to find, although, yeah, I could, I could do that. That could be, that's something I can try to implement. Hey Slim, are you going to do a Let's Play of Echoes of Wisdom when it comes out? When it comes out, no. Um, I'll, I'd definitely do a Let's Play of it, though. Assuming it doesn't take, like, 500 years to, like, finish or something. Which I doubt it would, but... 
It'd be more likely than a Breath of the Wild Let's Play right now. Let's just say that. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe that at the moment. I, I don't like doing Let's Plays of games as soon as they come out. If I do a, if I do a playthrough and it's going to be showcased, it's going to be on stream. So I'd probably do it on Twitch, maybe. That is if I'm not, like, already working on something else Twitch-related. First place... I mean, I could do that. pieces. Like pepper grinder. Yeah, I like pepper grinder. Boy, that pepper grinder was a sure good 3 out of 5 game. And yeah, maybe 3.5 out of 10. Or 5. Uh, nah, not 10. 3.5 out of 10 is really bad, but no. 3. 3.5 out of 5. That's probably more in line with what I'd say. Ringra, I've just not done a playthrough of Zoop, but... You be Ocarina's time almost seven times. That's a lot of times. What we need is more Ocarina time for back bow bobery. It'll appear on the list at some point. I feel like if I'm, if I'm doing a casual playthrough of Ocarina of Time these days, I probably wouldn't do all Sculptulas. I would do f enough to get the heart piece, and that'd be it. There's just way too many freaking Sculptulas that are just not necessary. God, I'm actually slowing down a little bit. Okay, I need to I need to find a, something to work on. I think that's what I need to do. I need to find a plan. Decide to listen to this. Oh, oh I found the piece where it went apparently. Decided to listen to the Splatoon anime theme. I didn't know Splatoon had an anime. Since Splatoon has an anime, that means that I'm still probably not going to play it. <laughs> Maybe at some point, I don't know. Drawing Swallow and its child right now, just adding the finishing touches before. That's cool. Yeah, but what if I wanted to play the Wii version? King of Diamonds. Honestly, I would probably play like a non-Wii version anyway.
Since you said Staravia's voice is the best, does that mean you find Solo's voice annoying as hell? No! I, I said nothing of the sort, Ringra. I just said that of all the Gen 4 Pokemon voices I've heard so far, I think Staravia has the best one. I haven't heard all of them yet. Keep that in mind. I said nothing about hating Swallow's voice. Well, if you know me, King of Diamonds, you know that I'm not really big on motion controls myself, so... I, I I only have well I have the I have the Wii version and the Wii U version. So it'd probably end up being the Wii U version that I play. But I'm also just not ready for that anyway. But what, of what I can tell you about Twilight Princess, that's the story. You know what's funny? I think we only have room for one more person. <laughs> I think it's only ten you can have in a room, if I remember correctly. I'm finding all these grass pieces, guys. You can call me the grass piece warrior. But no, Staravia's voice in the anime is great. Staravia! <laughs> it's just so good. I can't roll my R's as well as Staravia can, but like, it's pretty freaking epic. Wait, is that part of Zelda? It is! It's part of her hair! Staravia! Okay, no problem, Magnus. You take it easy and you rest, okay? Thanks for hanging out during the Retro Achievement stuff. You you would also be my voice of wit- my witness if I were to get something and it didn't activate. <laughs> you could be all like, yo, I'm Magnus, I'm the cool Retro Achievement guy. Slim is one fine gamer, he unlocked this and it didn't trigger, so... You should give him this achievement. And then people would have to, like, listen to you because, yeah. Finally found a piece I was like, yeah, that's so rewarding where it's just like you've been looking for something for so long and it's just like, where the hell is it? <laughs> it's so rewarding when you finally get it.
Maybe I'll watch some more Pokemon after I finish stream. Like when I'm having dinner and all that stuff. Oh shit, I dropped that. I think I'm... Yeah, I think I'm actually getting ready to watch the second gym battle of Sinnoh, I think. I think that's where I left off. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to ask about the direct, which I don't I think I touched on most of the bases. This is your favorite Zelda song of all time. Yeah, pretty good Sky uh, Skyward Sword song. Yeah, Dragon Quest. Matamoria's favorite <laughs> Zelda song, Dragon Quest. <laughs> somewhere up there. Oh yeah, dra the Dragon Quest games. I didn't bring up those. Like, I mean, I'm kind of interested in those, but... It's weird. I, I, I almost kind of want to play, like, the originals again and then actually complete all of them. I think once I do that, I'd be a little more excited about them. Because I, I do want to get more into Dragon Quest. I do really like the series... And I want to have a bigger attachment to the series beyond Fortune Street. Odin, I have finished and played through 1 and 11. <laughs> so the most recent and the latest, or the earliest, the oldest, that's the word I'm looking for. One is, one is, like, incredibly basic. It's, like, literally, like, this is, like, the first RPG ever, almost. <laughs> but, and not in a bad way, it's still fun. It's always fun, like, watching RPGs and your characters, like, getting stronger and everything. But it, it's definitely the, like, this is, like, the first RPG ever <laughs> type of game. Like, am I not wrong in saying that? Like... I also played a little bit of, of I, I was eyeing that piece then buddy bro just took it and put it exactly where I was thinking it was gonna go but um I've also played a bit of Dragon Quest 2 as well 
I played pretty far into the game, I think. I just never finished it. Oh, shoot. Nobody burns mine. Okay, go away. <laughs> uh, I own 7 and 8, but I've only barely started 7. I think I played 2 up until basically the most brutal part of the game. Because I remember Weaver was like... Yo, you're at the part of the game where it's really going to start to get really hard and annoying. And I'm like, oh, goody, I guess I'll start this later. I never started it after that. <laughs> um, have you played the final... Oh, yeah, I've played, I've played Final Fantasy. I've beaten 1, I've beaten 4, 6, and 7. I want to play 9 at some point. I also want to play 5. But I've, be I've beaten 4 Final Fantasies. Seven is still my favorite, though, because it's just good, okay? It's good, okay? Don't at me. Play as many as you can before nine. It's an anniversary once you to pre Okay, maybe, that's... I'm glad you actually told me that, Odin. Maybe I will try to... Maybe I'll play five, and then... Because, like... After that, I, the only one I wouldn't have played would be 2, 3, and 8. Like, I feel like I would have played all the ones that I hear a lot about, so maybe... I'm kind of nervous about playing 8, because, like, I kind of hear, like, mixed things about it. I hear two can be a bit of a chore. I haven't really heard much about three, but I I, I I have a feeling I'd like five. I think five is one I'd probably really enjoy. I also have 10, but... I kind of feel like I want to do 9 before I do 10. I know they're not, like, connected, but, like... Just a strange feeling I have. Oh yeah, one series I can actually play now is I actually have the Kingdom Hearts collection now, because it finally came out on Steam. So I now have the definitive versions of 1 and 2, and I have 3 finally, so at some point I can play those. Don't ask for Let's Plays though, I'll, I'll get to those when I'm ready for that. Oh, I know you'll ask, Odin. Like, I, I expect you to ask. Odin's like the most YouTube commenter, like, friend that I have. <laughs> hey, Slim, can you let's play Kingdom Hearts 1? No, never. All because you asked. I'm not doing it. first. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta say, guys, I've been actually really, like, satisfied with how stuff's been going on YouTube as of late. Like, 
or not, 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 not even just YouTube, honestly, just in general with, like, content creation. Like, I just kind of have this feeling that, like, things have just been kind of going a lot smoother than they had been, like, the last couple of years. Where things haven't necessarily been bad or anything, but... I don't know, it's just been... It's been nice doing the stuff that I've been working on, you know? Like, it's just... I don't know, I've, like, I've... I've been doing a bunch of, like, little, smaller projects on my YouTube lately, but I think they've been really good projects, and... It's, they've been keeping me going despite not really having any, like, major ideas for, like, big projects. So, I don't know, it's just been, it's just, it's just been kind of nice. It's been kind of comforting just being able to do my thing and not have to worry too much about, like, certain factors. And I feel like my channel growth, like, I'm still, like, feeling like I'm not getting as many views as I should be, but, like, I feel like my subscriber count has actually been kind of increasing a bit more than it has been. And, like, I think it also helps to have, like, some... I have, I have more stuff going on than just Let's Plays. I think that also helps. Okay, Silver, that's fine. I mean, there, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people here. Like, I'm kind of, I've kind of been, like, pretty aimless and just, like, switching, like, back and forth between, like, different sections. Yeah, it's, t it's time for Fortnite. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm, I'm happy to say that I've still never played Fortnite. I mean, I'm sure it's probably not, like, bad or anything. I mean, people get into it for a reason, you know. People don't play a game and they're like, Oh, like, this game has bad gameplay. I'm gonna just play this nonstop. It just never has really appealed to me or anything. That's really all it is. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure. I'm sure Fortnite is just fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of the culture that it's kind of made, I guess. How how did like Fortnite even like start trending really? <laughs> I feel like it was one of those games where it's just like I just started like it's like well it's Fortnite it's like oh it's this game it's like oh okay it like just came out of nowhere it seemed like <laughs> Oh, looks like uh, Buddy Bro has joined the 100 Club. Well, Wilmot's getting kind of close to that, too, actually. Oh, whoops. Sorry, you're funny. <laughs> I, I, guess that, I guess that's what it is. Like, honestly, like, the bat whole Battle Royale thing is a really cool thing. Like, th that is one thing that, like, I've always, like, growing up, I'd be like, you know it'd be really cool if there's, like, these games where it's just, like, one versus, like, 20 or 50 people in, like, this, this battle arena. It would, like, remind me of, like, those games you play in gym class where it's just, like, 
He's like, here's a few balls. You throw them at each other to make people freeze and see if you can go until there's one remaining or something. It, it was like that kind of whole mentality. And like, that's always kind of appealed to me in some sense because of, like, that was... Those were like the one things I liked about gym class because I was like, oh man, that'd be cool if I actually like made it through all of this. Like it's a really neat, it's a really neat idea and concept. Yeah, the free to play stuff probably helps too. I mean, I'm sure it does. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I love how there's just a heart piece up here. So that, okay, so we know that one of the heart pieces is gonna be on a giant uh, pedestal. Someone found your secret. Were you hiding a piece, Odin? Was Odin hiding pieces this whole time? Hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> There is a piece out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's it. I want to find out where this goes. Oh my god. Odin trolled in spec, yeah. It's Odin's way, though. We, we love him for it. <laughs> it's just a beast just in the middle of nowhere in the corner. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to keep us on his uh, on our toes. One of those none of those pieces fit Link's head. Yeah, where is that Link's head piece? Oh. <laughs> nice try, Jeflooney. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the color we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, where is that headpiece? I'm curious about that now. I could also, it could also be bu under another piece or something. If that is the case, I can do like the V slash command and bring all the pieces closer. If that needs to be done. Because yeah, I'm not seeing that Link's headpiece at all. Unless... Okay, I'm just making sure. Oh no, Willbot left. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Wellbot. Thanks for uh, contributing. You actually did quite a bit, so thank you for that. Guys, what if Jilly has the piece? Jilly took the piece and hid it somewhere. We can't rule that out. What if Odin stole it? Uh, I don't know. Odin would, like, troll with the piece. He wouldn't steal it. You know what? I'm gonna stop at 164 because 64. <laughs> Since I've been looking for it this whole time, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea where it is. I love how there's a piece just not okay. That's yep. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where it is. It's either, like, under, like, one of these or something. Oh, I didn't mean to put that in. Oops. Yeah, where, where the hell is it? Yeah. Let's, let's not be accusatory, guys. I don't think Odin stole it. Okay. We're actually missing two, so it's not even just that one. Okay, let me do this command. Generate. Oh, Bobo found it! There's still one more somewhere. Where is it? No, I, I zoomed out. There's not any other pieces around. Near the sun. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. Someone else can put it in. There it is. Nice job, guys. Nice job. GG. Now, that was fun. That was fun, guys. Thanks for the great turnout today. There were a lot of people joining in on this one. I think that was the most we ever had working on one at one time. I think we had nine at one point. Which I think is pretty close to the max. Okay, well. That's going to do it, I think, for today's stream. This was a really great stream, guys. Wait, that Link's headpiece was hiding on top of Zelda's purple outfit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, don't, don't worry about Bowser Girl. Even though you had 70 and now you only have one, you're the one, the one that matters to us. So thank you for being a part of this. Um, King of, uh, Diamonds, I'd probably do some of the other games first, honestly. I probably wouldn't do... I'd probably try to do them in order if I could, honestly. So, 
That's probably how I do it. Also, yay, we're ending with one of my favorite uh, Zelda girls. Uh, Malon slash Romani. With the ranch song. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, guys. This is a really fun stream. Not just the puzzle portion, but... Man, I feel so pumped from, from earlier uh, getting both of those achievements, too. That was that was really really nice. Uh, those were those were two achievements that have literally been haunting me for like a year now. So very rewarding stream, I gotta say, very rewarding. Okay, guys. Well, let's uh, see if there's anyone we can raid before we wrap this up. see, we got Fab East, we have Some Call Me Johnny, we have Willard J. Bradley, Tamal, who's likely almost done. We got Zabrag Burger, who's probably also almost done. We got DT, we got Gamer Cow. We have a lot of choices here. Um... I don't know who to pick. Eee. How long has Tamal been streaming? He's only been going an hour 40, so we'll, we'll go with Tamal. We'll go with Tamal today. Okay, guys, thank you guys for coming out. It's been fun. I'll see you guys Tuesday for Sonic Superstars. And I'll see you the rest of the week for other streams. I'll have my schedule posted for the week tonight or tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, if you want to hang out on my Discord server, you're more than welcome to join that as well. Odin's... You know what? Yeah, we'll add, we'll add that too. We'll add Odin's secret piece. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Let me load up tomorrow's stream. To get the ad at least almost done. And let me hit the end broadcast button. So I will see you guys later. <laughs>